Today we'll be looking at similar triangles. Now, what are similar triangles? Um, two angles are said to be similar if one of them is an enlargement of the other. Now, in this problem, we have a couple of questions to solve. Now, if you look at the first question, the triangle below are mathematically similar. Now, ABC is an enlargement from the question on the board is an alignment of QRS. ABC is an alignment of QRS. So therefore, ABC and QRS are said to be mathematically similar. Why? Because ABC is an alignment of QRS. Now, this kind of problem we are solving today in this video um, it has to do with a length related problem because if you look at the question the A part says calculate the length of BC and the B part says calculate the length of AB now because we want to find length, length related problem now there is an important thing you need to know in similar triangle you need to know how to get a, uh, a, a scale factor now for area related problem you need an area scale factor for volume related problem you need a volume scale factor but for this question we're doing now we are going to use a length scale factor because we want we are we are looking for and this is a length related problem now how do i get my length scale factor my length scale factor simply means you look at the corresponding side a b and QR are corresponding side, BC and RS are corresponding side, AC and QS are corresponding side. So look at the, the two, compare the two shapes, the two given corresponding side, AC is given as 15, QS is given as 10. So because we have that, with that we'll be able to get the length scale factor. Therefore, the length scale factor, the length scale factor we can call it LSF is this larger corresponding side is AC divided by the smaller corresponding side is QS so AC is 15 centimeter and QS is 10 centimeter if centimeter can be centimeter and um, if I reduce this I'm going to get um, 3 half 3 half Therefore, my scale factor has no unit. Now, the importance of our scale factor is either to move from a smaller shape to a larger shape or from a larger shape to a smaller shape. What do I mean by that? Now, we want to find BC. The first problem says A, calculate the length of BC. We want to calculate the length of BC. Now let's look at the corresponding side is RS. Now RS is a smaller shape. RS is a smaller side. BC is the larger corresponding side. Now, like I said, this BC is an enlargement of RS. So therefore, if I'm moving from RS to BC, it means that my value BC must be greater than RS. So I have a length scale factor. I have a length scale factor. So the length scale factor will move me from RS to BC. So what I need to do, if I'm moving from a smaller side to a bigger side, I'm going to multiply the smaller side by the length scale factor. If I do that, what I will get here will be larger than this. If I'm moving from the larger side to the smaller side, for instance, it means that I'm going to divide the larger side by the length scale factor to get the smaller corresponding side. So therefore, to get BC, because I'm moving from RS to BC, I'm going to multiply RS, the smaller side, by 3 half. So if I do that, RS is 4 multiply by 3 half which will give me um, um, 12 over 2 which is 6 so i have 6 centimeter you can you can see comparing rs and bc that bc is larger 
then RS. So this B part of it says we should calculate the length of AB. Now AB, we want to move from the smaller corresponding side to the larger corresponding side. So to move to get um, AB, I'm going to I'm going to multiply QR multiplied by the length scale factor, which is three over two, because I'm moving from the smaller corresponding side to the larger corresponding side. Therefore, I have six times three over two, three two year one two year three. 3 times 3 is 9 centimeters. So it's very, very simple. Now let's look at the second question. Calculate the length of x, y, and z in the triangle below. Now, if you look at this, now I can separate this shape. I can take the bigger shape, which is this. This is x here. This is this whole side of the 3 plus 5 which is 8 this side is 12 and you know we have y and x y z sorry so for this other side uh, we have it like this this is 5 centimeter this is z and then this is 3 you can see that this Thing, this shape, this triangle is an enlargement of this. So therefore, this and this are said to be mathematically similar. So for this, we want to find the values of x, y, z, the length, and therefore we need a scale factor. So let me use LSF to represent it. The scale factor, short form for scale factor. Now, the, the larger corresponding side is 8 divided by the smaller corresponding side which is 5 the scale factor has no unit so now I'm moving from the smaller side to the bigger side so x will be if I'm moving from the smaller side to the bigger side I'll multiply the smaller side by the length scale factor so 8 over 5 so should I do that I'm going to get 8 times 3 times 8 is 24 divided by 5 24 divided by 5 will give me 4 0.8 centimeter. Now I'll move to the next thing. I want to get uh, x. Uh, I want to get uh, okay. I want to get z. So I'm moving from the larger side, larger corresponding to the smaller corresponding. So I want to get z. So I'll do the larger corresponding side, which is 12, divided by the smaller corresponding side, which is um, 8 over. Five. So therefore, 12. I will change this to multiplication. It becomes 5 over 8. So 12 times 5 is 60. 60 divided by 8 will give me 7.5 centimeters. So now, if I want to get z, um, I want to get y. It is very easy to get y because y plus z is 12. So I can do. I can say y plus z equals 12. So if I can say that y plus z is 12, let me write here. Y plus z is 12. So y, I got y, I got z, sorry, at 7.5. So y plus 7.5 equals 12. So y will be 12 minus 7.5. So y is um, um, 4.5 centimeters. So therefore, in conclusion, therefore, x is 4.8 centimeter, y is um, 4.5 centimeter, and z is 7.5 centimeter. Now there's another way to solve this problem. You know, let's let's solve it using another method. Now, the other method is you don't need to break down the triangle you don't need to break down the triangle all you need to do is look at this point this is like the meeting point from this me here from here the me here to look at meeting point to the meeting point to this one to the meeting point and here to the meeting point so how do i achieve that i'm going to say 
3 plus 5 over 5. So I'll write an equation for that. 3 plus 5 over 5 equal. I'll do, look at this. This will be 12 over z. 12 over z equal. I can still say x plus z over z. Sorry, y plus z over z. So y plus z over z equal. Then the next one I'm moving from here down. So this is x over 3. So x over 3. So you can solve by equating any of the formula. So because I want to get, let's start with x. I want to get x so I can I can equate this and this together to get x. So this is 8. 3 plus 5 is 8 over 5 equal x over 3. If I cross multiply, that's another way to do it. So I have 5x equals 8 times 3 is 24. The x is 24 divided by 5. The x will be, um, this is a 4.8 centimeter. All right. Now I can compare this and this to get z. I can equate this and this to get z. So this is 8 over 5 equal 12 over z. If I cross multiply, I'm going to do um, um, 8z, 8 times z will give me 8z equal 5 times 12 will give me 60. So z will be 60 divided by 8, which will give me 7.5 centimeters. So um, z will give me 7.5 centimeters. Now to get the last one, which is y, I can, I can take this equation and that equation. So I can say 8 over 5 equals y plus z over z. If I cross multiply, I'm going to add 8z equal, this time this is 8z, 5 into bracket y plus z. So 8z will be equal to 5y, 5 times y is 5y plus 5 times plus z will give me plus 5z. So if I take this to the other side, 8z minus 5z equals 5y. So this is 3z equals 5y. Now I want to find y. I already know what z is. So I'm going to do 3 bracket 7.5 equals 5y. Now if I multiply this, I'm going to get 22.5 equals 5y. So y will be 22.5 divided by 5. So y will be, if I do 22.5 divided by 5, I'm going to get um, 4.5 centimeter. So thank you for watching my video. Please always subscribe on my channel always click on the like button click on the like button thanks for watching my video god bless you